this week's video is filmed in collaboration with the Sun du Floor, and this is actually the third time we work together and I appreciate that so much. Sun du Floor is one of the most classy brands I know of. The pieces are made of natural fibers and they put so much effort into making timeless designs that are suitable for women of all ages. This red and white gingham one piece from the new collection made me fall head over heels. It's so charming and as with any of Sunday Floor's pieces, it's breathable and comfortable to move around in. You can also get this charming gingham in a dress version and it is equally as adorable. But if you fall in head over heels like I did for the one piece, make sure to check the measuring chart because it's quite oversized. The one I'm wearing is an extra extra small slash extra small. So that is just a tip. But make sure to pop down and check out their summer collection. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Thank you so much to Sunday Floor for sponsoring another video and uh, I can't wait to just wear this all summer. <laughs> what I'm about to show you is not something I'm proud of but I actually think it's quite natural to have a space like this in your house, like a messy drawer. I have a messy room and it's functioned in a way since I moved in where I've, I've just chuffed things in there like tools things I did not know where to put and now I've been living here for over a year and it's time to face it go through everything I thought it would be ideal now when the weather is like it is this week to face this it's definitely a room I see myself renovating at some point but for now we have a skylight project that's about to begin uh, so this is in the background for now some tidying would definitely be good. Don't judge me. Here it is. My messy laundry room. Stacked up with things I haven't dealt with since I moved in. A cabinet full of paint. We've got pretty pipes and more stuff. This door actually leads out. It's not a room full of endless opportunities, but it definitely could have been decorated in a more function way. As an example, this cabinet. Why is it in the middle of the room? Like you're pretty much walking into it all the time. And why are the pipes not covered up? That's just two questions I've been wondering. Like we have seven pillows up here. No, eight pillows, nine pillows. <sighs> Hello. I'm just gonna try to empty the room more or less. was to dry them in here. I'm not weird. My summer rock. wondering if she smoked out here because this 
room is so yellow, it's very tempting to bring out a paintbrush and just paint over everything. But it would make sense since I am planning to do like a bigger renovation makeover of this room at some point. So it would just, um, I would just double my work in some way. But I have completely packed my car with things I'm going to bring to the recycling station. And I'll just, uh, I think I'll just pop there before I give it a clean. It is really nice to go through everything. Like, a moving year is crazy. So there were a lot of things that I've just dumped out here. So it's, it's, it's been lovely to just get it sorted. Yeah. I'm going to jump to the recycling station. While I was driving around on the recycling station, I started craving a white pizza, a potato pizza. And just to give you a perspective of my week, Monday night I got a migraine attack, Tuesday I got my period, and today, Wednesday, I'm still recovering um, from the migraine and I do have my period still. So um, if my body wants a potato pizza today that is exactly what I'm gonna give it so I'm actually gonna make a cheat potato pizza I'm not gonna make dough and everything because I don't have like a working oven <laughs> so instead I'm gonna use Greek flat bowl I will prepare the potato slices on a pan and then we're gonna put everything into my cheat oven and that's going to do the rest of the job. So I've never tried this before. I hope it's going to work out amazing. Isn't it mad to think that in not that long I'm going to have skylights in there pushing light into the living room. This is the bread, and it's really delicious. I'll just use a little chili pesto. Fresh oregano. It is really good. I will say an 8 out of 10. It would have been nice to have some rosemary or a little extra taste reference. But it's really good. It does work. Really good cheap pizza. And healthier pizza. Yeah. 8 out of 10. It's good. Mm. The sun is out. 
and I just changed into garden clothes. I have been painting in my underwear since I had lunch. Now done the first like layer of the flowers. So we're still working on the foundation. I'm taking it slowly step by step. But the sun is out guys and the veggie bed is ready. It's time to get some potatoes and carrots into the ground. Carrots and potatoes. of a new doormat. What I was trying to say outside before I gave up due to the very busy, noisy road is that I still have about one fourth of the veggie bed left. So what would be, besides from carrots and potatoes, what would be very easy to take care of, not easily eaten by snails, insects, cats, birds. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below because I did not think I was gonna have more space. And now it's time for me to put back things to into my laundry room and just get that sorted. I'm quite sure I haven't explained that this is a collection of tulips from my garden. So I have like one of each type from my backyard, put them into a vase yesterday, took a picture, now trying to paint them. Yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, of course you wouldn't know, but aren't they amazing? It felt like such a crime to cut them from the garden, but they were singing on the last, on the last verse. I have no idea if you can translate that to English. They were not, um, they were not going to have a lot of time left um, looking beautiful and strong like they did. So it was the right time to cut them and uh, I'm so happy I got that picture and that I'm now painting them. This is definitely not the most aesthetically pleasing before and after I've done, but it's made a huge difference for me. The machines are now a lot more accessible. I can walk through and know what's out here. And it can lead me to my garden. This is gonna be an amazing spot in my garden in just a month's time. I can feel it, summer is coming. it's the morning because I have a towel wrapped around my body but it is Friday midday I am picking out an outfit to take some pictures of this fluffy coat doing like less moment work 
before the drop in like an hour. <laughs> I will try to find like a vintage dress. That would be classy. Hmm. Maybe some of you recognize this dress from the last video and from my reel on Instagram. I did end up keeping her. She's amazing. And great. The rain might just have stopped, but look at my shoes. The garden is like a swamp. This one is so big. It's on the size of my face. They are starting to look a bit sad, but luckily, I think my painting is done. I might just touch up on a few details. But this is my finished painting of my tulip bouquet. I've been painting for a year now. I started in April last year and it's not something I, it's not like, I'm not going to put a, put a pressure on myself to become really good at it or to produce a certain amount of things. I just, it's something I really enjoy to do just like to relax so um, I think it's okay I'm still learning so I'm very much aware that this week's video has not been the longest my migraine and period attack has definitely been like a struggle throughout the entire week I am about on like 90% today I also think it could be like something like sent from mother earth something bigger than myself because next week is going to be crazy guys i'm just gonna let you know a little bit about what's going to happen because i spoke to my carpenter yesterday we got materials for the skylight project and it's going to begin on monday on top of that next week is also my birthday week i'm going to become a proper adult next week I still practice saying it I'm going to turn 30 I'm going to be okay so since I am turning 30 and it is going to be my birthday I have prepared a collection I'm going to launch a few summer pieces in cotton in Bohemian Wonders own brand we haven't launched anything for quite a while so I have prepped like those things found some jewelry and like it's going to be a really cute summer themed collection that I'm also going to shoot throughout next week. So next week is going to be very eventful from Monday off. Um, so there is so much to look forward to. I can't believe we're going to get started with the skylight. It's going to completely change this room and it's going to be wild. So. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much to you, Sunday Floor, for sponsoring. Do yourself the favor and pop down below and check out their summer collection. And um, get ready for a crazy week where so much is gonna happen. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely weekend. Bye guys.